Hello YouTube fam, it's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, a channel where I ran in our review, man. Ordered some stuff from Walmart and ended up picking some cars up from Mariano's. They had some Hot Wheel cars for a dollar piece. I think I bought like 10 of them. Had two figures come in from uh, Walmart, Masters of the Universe Revolutions, man. Two great figures, man, that I wanted um, that I just thought was awesome, man. Like I said, you take advantage of sales now again a lot of people make it seem like um shopping now on a budget is wrong dude i got a giant ass collection i'm not out here buying 25 dollar figures anymore man i'm just not to me right now that's a no for me and i understand people budgets haven't changed mine's really haven't changed but I'm a little more careful. You know, a lot of people talk about how Ollie's is not the lick. You know, we shouldn't be trying to, you know, depend on these places along with Ross, DD's discount, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Burlington. We shouldn't be depending on these places. But I'm going to say this to you. Understanding what you're doing goes a long way. Understanding the true nature of collecting. Dude. Some stuff I let go past me on the shelf, man. You know, some things I've seen on the shelf, like those retro card G.I. Joes, the Recondo, the Duke, the Scarlet. You know, um, I was thinking about getting those, and I thought about it. I said, man, why am I steady getting the same figure over and over again? Look, if they come up again, maybe I get them. If they don't, I'm good with that. Slow your roll. Things would happen when they're time. I mean, when they're ready to happen, man. You know what? Again, stop buying all those high price figures. Super 7. I had to stop. It was getting costly, and I realized one thing with Super 7. Quality's not there. But, you know, let's stop talking so much. And let's talk about what I did pick up, man. So we got Masterverse. Masters of the Universe, New Eternia. We have Thunder Punch He Man. Now look at the head scope. Look like the He Man of old. Look at the packaging. That looks amazing. I love the way that looks. But you remember back in the day, the Thunder Punch was made with um, those cap gun caps. Dude, that was so amazing. That was so fun. He used to make that cap. Oh, look like they got caps here. That would make the capping noise. If you look on the back, you'll see it. You'll see the caps right there. Dude, that's crazy. Then you see the figures back here. You got Cyclone, Leech. You got Emperor Hordak. And you got Thunder Punch He-Man. Um, the Cyclone was sold out. Um, the Leech, I didn't want. The Emperor Hordak, I ended up getting. But this figure right here, man, this He-Man head scope looks amazing. The details in this, just everything about this figure, man, is amazing. And see, this is why I collect, fam. This is why I collect. I collect because I want the figures that I want on a time scale when I actually want them, dude. It ain't about getting the new stuff and everybody else like, man, oh, man, you should have hurried up and got it. So from the next thing we have, we have Masterverse, Masters of the Universe, Revolution, Emperor Hordak. Dude, compared to the Hordak I got, this guy here looks amazing. Dude, the attention to detail in the face, the sculpt, the staff, everything about this figure itself screams badass, man. The box art looks amazing. You know, then you got it on the back and you got him you know, posed up and everything. One thing that I would have loved to see, and I'm going to be honest with you, if you look back there, you look at all of this, one thing I would have truly loved to see is some sort of diorama, you know, a battle, a better version. I would have liked to see the Horde Castle, uh, you know, something like that, man. Just something showing us what we actually see, man. Overall, amazing figures, man. These two, to me, are amazing dude I actually like what I see here man they did a fantastic job with that but let me show you the cars that I picked up 
Um, I picked up um, one of five Batmobile. I picked four or five um, Arkham Knight Batmobile, but this one is different. It got gold stripes on the top and all of that. The original didn't have that. We have the 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel Black. Boy, that looks amazing. We have the Tactical Response Humvee in blue. Navy blue. Dude, that looks amazing. You haven't seen a Hummer in a long ass time, have you? Then we got uh, new for 2024. We have the Herofa Merc. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's like a green, bluish. This looks old school. It looks almost like a T bird or something. Amazing, fam. Um, <laughs> that's those. We have a few more. As you see, I got three of the same vehicles. We have a Fiat 500E and like um, teal green, um, um, Hot Wheel Green Speed 8 of 10. We have the Fiat 500E, Compact Kings 2 of 5. This one looks amazing. I like this one. I love the color. You know, they do good jobs on these cars. You know, they used to be die cast, but now they're just mostly plastic. We have Fiat 500E, Compact Kings 2 of 5, but this one is in gray. Dude amazing and we have two of the same cars we have the 84 Pontiac Firebird in blue and white looks like kit <laughs> man this is amazing I remember seeing a lot of these cars back in the day man you know things I just wanted to show you man things I just wanted to talk to you about man one thing about it, collection grew, things changing, picking up stuff, man, slowing it down. You know, I realized I still had something. And this is the funniest damn thing. I paid $19.99 for at Ross's. This Dr. Robotnik Sonic battering, you know, thing like from the game. And, you know, if you hit him hard enough, he breaks apart. I thought about it to myself. Either I'm going to get this away in a giveaway or I'm going to pick up another one and do something real cool with it. I don't know. But maybe a giveaway. Who knows? Dude, you know, I've been seeing a lot of stuff that I want to do. A lot of stuff I've been having fun with. You know, a lot of stuff we could do together here. You know, because at the end of the day, everything's changing. You know, the collection is changing. The way I, I, I view stuff is changing, man. And, you know, being able to pick up stuff to talk to you all about. You know, actually still being able to get these. Even though people were talking about you should have bought them when they were freshly done. And, you know, I remember I was looking for this figure here so hard. And I ended up finding them, man. I seen a lot of them on the shelf. I seen the monkey ball one. I just didn't see the werewolf from um altar beast but you know what as i look at this figure he's a small figure but it is what it is you know it's a four inch figure basically man i'm okay there's nothing wrong with me there's no problems it's just sometimes you complain about shit and that's just real life man you find some stuff you get happy about it but sometimes with collecting, when you're looking for stuff, man, people talk about how you could actually pre-order. Some stuff is not able to be pre-ordered. You know, oh, you could just take the time. If you find it on the shelf, 
just buy it, then, you know, cancel your pre-order. Shit is not that easy to cancel all the ways, fam. Life is real out here, man. You know, um, just thinking about it, man. Just to later, fam, thank you for watching. Peace out.